As I look at tonight's game, I say, you know what? They could use a hero. And yes, that would be Masahiro, as in Masahiro Tanaka. We all know he was banished to the bullpen about three and a half weeks ago. He actually was banished to the bullpen after his last start against the Baltimore Orioles. The future is unwritten in baseball and in other places. You look at what the Yankees experienced this weekend, and Bob, they can't change it. They have to go forward. But they can learn from what happened in Boston. And the first thing they should learn, quite honestly, is they've got to play better in every facet of the game. A lot of fans crying for a DeGrom or a Bumgarner. They weren't ready. They weren't available, I should say. Stop dreaming. Get with the reality of it. The reality is Hap is a Yankee, and he can help them potentially overtake the Red Sox. And the Yankees are on this nice ride, and Sonny Gray is kind of saying, take me with you. I want to be on that ride. I think they have two clear goals. One is obviously win the game, but the second part of that is do it in a clean way. They need their offense to produce, especially in those timely spots. You have a a prized pitching matchup between two aces both trying to prove that they can be the king of the hill would be accurate when we look at their birth certificate because they're all in their early 20s but you're right they're not pitching like unnerved or unsaid unsettled kids who don't know what's going on that's what the Yankees need Sonny Gray to do tonight in his last start those eight scoreless innings that's the first time as a Yankee that he's ever had a scoreless start they can always fall back on what they've already accomplished and say wait a second we were already the best team in baseball. The Yankees gained three and a half games, and it's getting a little hot in the AL East, and the Yankees want to keep it that way. The baseball season lasts six months. Masahiro Tanaka just missed the last month of it, but he's back in the New York groove with the Yankees tonight and excited to be back on the mound more than anything else. You just saw the musical and sartorial stylings of Jack Curry. And for more pearls of wisdom and perhaps some musical asides, make sure to catch Jack with Matt Stucco on Facebook during the third inning for In Game Live presented by First Republic Bank. Jack and Matthew will break down what they've seen during the game and they will answer your questions. All right, for our viewers, why do you love going with the song titles? You always heard the story, right, that an athlete is a frustrated rock star. Well, I'm going to take that in my direction. Maybe a sports journalist is a frustrated rock and roll music critic when I was in college I was the sports editor of the newspaper at Fordham but I always figured out a way to write about some music too and music is my vice I love baseball and baseball fills up a large chunk of my life but when I leave here, Bob, I'm not listening yeah. to sports talk radio. All apologies to all my friends who have radio shows. I'm listening to music. <laughs> Deep roots in music. Having said that, pop quiz time. You ready for this? I'm ready. I'm going to name the song. You name the artist. Okay. All right. Live TV. No pressure. Just can't get enough. Oh, that's the Pesh Mode. All right, that was easy. I started Jeezy. Sheena is a punk rocker. Oh, my God. <laughs> if you got that wrong, just banish me. That's the Ramones. A little respect. A little respect. Oh, that would probably be Erasure. Bing. Three for three. A New England. Ooh. Kirsty McCall? No. It's double B's. Double Billy. B's. Billy Bragg? Boom. Uh, check out Kirsty McCall. I think that was her song first. All right, last one. Here we go. You're sort of three and a half for four. Suede Head. Oh, that's Morrissey. <laughs> Morrissey slash the Smiths, but it was Morrissey's <laughs> solo career. All right, last one. Jumpin' Jack Flash. That's the Rolling Stones, of course. <laughs> I'm doing all right here. Man, you are good. All right.